Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and within this video I'm going to show you how to format a hard drive, also known as initialize a hard drive from the Mac OS command line. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is open the terminal session, and then I will type disk util space list. Uh, this disk is connected by way of, uh, of USB dock, so you can see here it's dev disk 2. And, uh, you know, be sure you pick the correct disk because if you don't, this could be very damaging. You could, you could erase data. So be sure that all of your data on the external hard drive as well as any other hard drives or thumb drives that you may have is backed up before continuing. And uh, what I would recommend doing if you, have, uh, if you have a thumb drive or something stuck in, just unplug it so it's not even in the equation. So I know for sure that disk 2... In my scenario, is the is the disk that I want to initialize. So what I'm going to do is type disk util space erase disk space jhfs plus for a journaled file system, and I'm just going to call it untitled for the disk name. You could use whatever there, and then I'm going to type disk2. Because again, the disk that I want to format in my computer is disk 2. This may be different in your computer. So now I'm going to hit enter. And this will, formatting the disk, it will format the disk as a Mac OS extended journaled with the name untitled. So that's exactly what I want. Um, it's finished. You can see now I've got the disk. It appeared on my, on my Mac's desktop. If I go to Get Info, I will see that there's four terabytes available. So I've successfully initialized this disk, and now I can proceed with, uh, with additional disk if I have them. But it's a simple process. What prompted me to use this was disk utility because these disks were previously part of a, concat of a concatenated disk set, and one of my four disks failed. And as the product of that, when I go into disk utility and try to... Uh, and try to initialize individual disk, it didn't let me do it. So doing it from command line like this enabled me to take disk out of my concatenated disk set and initialize them individually. And the same procedure may be applicable if you buy a new hard drive and it's formatted with, a, uh, with, a, with an incompatible operating system. So just something handy to know. I hope this video is of value. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash irix guy y'all have a good day hey y'all irix guy here if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you